The dawn of civilization is often imagined as a gradual progression from nomadic life to settled societies. However, this narrative is now being rewritten by a discovery that might push back our understanding of human ingenuity by millennia. Far from the first cities of Mesopotamia, the agricultural hubs of the Nile, or the philosophical pursuits of the early Greeks, this breakthrough comes from Gobekli Tepe, a 12,000-year-old site located in the arid hills of southern Turkey. Here, archaeologists have stumbled upon what could be the world's oldest calendar, a sophisticated timekeeping system etched into stone, suggesting that our ancestors were far more advanced than previously thought. This discovery has the potential to rewrite our timeline of technological and cultural advancements and also reveal new insights into how an ancient people sought to record and make sense of the universe around them. Gobekli Tepe is often heralded as the world's first temple and has fascinated researchers since its discovery. Constructed around 10,000 BC, this monumental site predates the advent of writing and the rise of the earliest known civilizations by thousands of years. Its builders were presumably hunter-gatherers, yet they managed to erect massive stone circles with some pillars weighing up to 20 tons adorned with detailed carvings. The purpose of these structures has long been a mystery, but recent analysis offers a new interpretation. These carvings might represent a sophisticated lunisolar calendar, marking Gobekli Tepe as a site of not just religious significance, but also astronomical knowledge. At the heart of this theory is Pillar 43, one of the many pillars and features at Gobekli Tepe. The pillar is covered with an array of symbols including V-shaped carvings that researchers from the University of Edinburgh believe represent days in a solar year. By counting these V-shaped symbols, the research team proposes that the people of Gobekli Tepe were able to track both lunar and solar cycles, effectively creating a calendar that synchronized the two, a system known as a lunisolar calendar. Such a system requires an understanding of intercalation, or the addition of days to a calendar to keep it in sync with the solar year, a concept thought to have been developed much later in human history. What makes this discovery so groundbreaking is its age. If Sweatman's interpretation is correct, this calendar predates the earliest known lunisolar calendars by several millennia, pushing the origins of complex timekeeping systems back to a time when humans were thought to be primarily concerned with survival rather than the complexities of celestial movements. This new finding challenges the title of the world's oldest known calendar, which was previously attributed to a Mesolithic arrangement of 12 pits and an ark found at Warren Field, Aberdeenshire, Scotland. Dated to roughly 8000 BCE, the Warren Field calendar, described as a lunar calendar, was deemed the oldest known in 2013. However, the Gobekli Tepe calendar could predate this by around 2000 years, significantly altering our current understanding of ancient timekeeping. The significance of the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, is evident in the carvings at Gobekli Tepe. The solstice is a critical event for agricultural societies and seems to have been marked by a special symbol, a V-shaped marking worn around the neck of a bird-like creature on Pillar 43. This symbol is thought to represent the constellation visible during the summer solstice at that time. Gobekli Tepe's location and age position it at a pivotal moment in human history at the transition from the Paleolithic or Old Stone Age to the Neolithic or New Stone Age period. This was a time of significant change as humans began to settle in permanent communities and experiment with agriculture. The presence of such an advanced timekeeping system at this critical juncture suggests that astronomical knowledge may have played a crucial role in this transition. It challenges the conventional view that agriculture was the driving force behind the development of complex societies, proposing instead that the need to track celestial events may have been a key factor in the birth of civilization. The researchers also propose a connection between the Gobekli Tepe calendar and a cataclysmic event that occurred around 10,850 BCE, approximately 13,000 years ago. This event, known as the Younger Dryas Impact, is believed to have been caused by a swarm of comet fragments striking the Earth, triggering a mini ice age that lasted over 1,200 years. The sudden cooling of the planet had devastating effects, wiping out many large animal species and forcing human populations to adapt. Some scientists theorize that these environmental changes may have spurred the development of agriculture and more complex societies as people sought new ways to survive in a drastically altered world. 
The team suggests that the catastrophic impact of the Younger Dryas event may have been recorded in the carvings at Gobekli Tepe. One pillar in particular appears to depict the torrid meteor stream, which is believed to have been the source of the comet fragments that struck the Earth. If correct, this interpretation would make the Gobekli Tepe calendar not just a tool for tracking time, but also a memorial to one of the most significant cosmic events in human history. The possibility that the people of Gobekli Tepe understood and recorded the precession of the equinoxes, a complex astronomical phenomenon involving the gradual shift in Earth's rotational axis, is perhaps the most astonishing aspect of this discovery. Precession affects how we see constellations move across the sky and was thought to have been first documented by the Greek astronomer Hipparchus around 150 BCE. However, the Gobekli Tepe calendar could push this knowledge back by at least 10,000 years, suggesting that ancient people were far more sophisticated in their understanding of the cosmos than previously imagined. The implications of this discovery extend beyond Gobekli Tepe. It suggests that complex astronomical knowledge and timekeeping systems were in place long before the advent of writing, agriculture, or settled societies. This challenges the traditional narrative of human development, which holds that such knowledge emerged only after these other innovations. Instead, it proposes that our ancestors may have been driven to develop these innovations as a means of coping with and understanding the world around them, a world that was significantly shaped by cosmic events. The discovery of what may be the world's oldest calendar at Gobekli Tepe forces us to reconsider the origins of civilization. It suggests that the roots of human ingenuity stretch back much further than we thought, to a time when our ancestors were not only surviving, but thriving in a complex, interconnected world. The people of Gobekli Tepe were not just hunter-gatherers. They were astronomers, timekeepers, and chroniclers of the cosmos leaving behind a legacy that continues to shape our understanding of the past and the future. This remarkable discovery opens up new avenues of research, promising to deepen our understanding of the early development of human societies and the role that astronomical knowledge played in their evolution. As archaeologists continue to study Gobekli Tepe and other ancient sites, we may yet uncover more secrets that challenge our understanding of human history. The stone pillars of Gobekli Tepe, silent witnesses to the passage of millennia, may still have much to teach us about the dawn of civilization and the enduring quest to understand our place in the cosmos. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the mysteries of Gobekli Tepe and the fascinating discoveries that continue to reshape our understanding of history, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest archaeological finds and historical insights.